A maritime disaster has become one of the world's great engineering feats. The complicated, expensive and at times tense operation to right the capsized Costa Concordia is finally complete. And now, as Stuart Greer reports, the search for the last two people lost when the cruise ship ran aground can finally resume. For the first time in 20 months, the Costa Concordia is upright, exposing the full extent of her damage. Stained with rust and algae, there are huge indentations on the side that was submerged, where the vessel came to rest on two underwater granite peaks. Walkways and cabins were crushed under the weight of the ship. The salvage operation took 19 hours, the most expensive and complex in history. Time-lapse footage shows how steel cables slowly rolled the ship onto a huge underwater platform. When it was all over at 4 a.m. local time, residents cheered and mobbed the salvage crews with hugs and kisses. I think for the whole team it's a lot of relief because yeah, it's been a struggle, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. But uh, yeah, I mean for the whole team it's fantastic that it worked just like they said it would work. The Costa Concordia ran aground off the coast of the Italian island of Giglio in January 2012. 32 people died in the accident, and Captain Francesco Scatino is on trial for manslaughter and abandoning ship. The crippled luxury liner remains a crime scene, and once fully stabilized, each cabin will be searched for new evidence and for the bodies of two missing victims. And any residual fuel, toxic waste, or rotting food will also be removed. Fears of leaks proved unfounded. It was a, a perfect operation, I would say. And from the environmental point of view, I have to say that there are no evidence uh, so far of uh, any uh, impact. More work lies ahead. A massive gash in the hull will have to be repaired before the ship can be refloated. That means it won't be until the spring before the Costa Concordia can be towed away and cut up for scrap. But first, time for a toast for transforming one of the worst decisions by a cruise captain into one of the greatest engineering triumphs in maritime history. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.